that's better. I saw on the news a couple days ago. Um, what happened with Mark Sanford, the uh, governor of South Carolina. And I've always liked this guy, good politician. Um, standing up for constitutional rights, standing up for state rights, um, speaking loudly against and taking great action against the illegal operations and powers of the federal government under the Obama administration. Um, good politician. Unfortunately, maybe not so great of a person. Now, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know anything about the guy. Okay. Other than what I've seen politically of him, and then most recently, on, on, of course, on the news. Um, I think I think you got to realize that what what Mark Sanford did, yeah, he made a mistake. He's obviously very sincere about his apologies. And see, right there, I just said, maybe he's not a good person. Well, maybe I'm the one who needs to realize that at this point in my life with who I am, I would never do what he did. But there's a part of me, a very small part of me, that might think that way. I hate this phone ring. Oh, I gotta answer this guy. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm at work, but what's up? Uh, no, I have like maybe. No, I was gonna get out this weekend. Why? What's up? Okay, I'm gonna actually. You know what? I'll, I'll be in tomorrow. Oh, okay, cool. I will, no problem. I'll leave it unlocked for you. All right, take care. Bye. Um, sorry about that. I See, and here's another thing right there. I lied and I said I was at work when I talked to that guy. And the reason was is because I, uh, and I'm trying not to justify it, but, but I I didn't want to talk to him for very long because I was, I was recording this, right? And... Um, <laughs> instead of saying, hey, I'm recording a YouTube video, uh, what's going on? I said I was at work because I didn't want to talk to him for very long because I wanted to keep doing this. Now, why did I lie? Probably because maybe there was an element of embarrassment saying, I'm recording a video on YouTube right now. I could have simply said, hey, I can't talk long, what's up? But I didn't. I reacted like that, I told a lie. Just like there's a part of Mark Sanford who did that, there's a part of me who lies. What everyone thinks and everyone does, there's a part of you who does that and thinks that. Maybe not consciously. And this is why, just like this basic thinking, I think is what makes it possible to love your neighbor as, as you love yourself. Or, I don't remember how that quote goes, but um, the basic principle of brotherly love. Because this guy might be pissing you off, but if you realize, hey, you know what, there's a part of me in him there's a part of me who would act like that, or who maybe used to act like that, or who might act like that just a little bit, but not as much as this guy does, because maybe this guy's overblown. But maybe that principle can help you connect with people, connect with that guy. You know what? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate this guy because there's a part of me who does that, or who did that, or who may do that in the future. And um Therefore, now, I don't have to accept what he does, but I don't have to dislike him. Because then, I would be disliking myself.
Um, and I think it's cool how this all ties into like some new age people now. They'll say like, okay, well, they'll take like a pantheistic approach to religion, and they'll say everything that exists, me, you, this like this mouse, okay, this phone, all of that, when combined together, is what God is. Which is why Jesus might say, you know, you're all the children of God. Um, so everything is God, the universe, the, un the universe is God. So me, Stephen, and you, whomever you are, we're both parts of God, but we're projections of God. But you and me are the same thing, the same person. So when, so when I use the word I, I'm referring to myself, the projection Stephen. But if I use the word I, it's kind of it's, it's kind of incorrect because the only I there is is God. And this is funny. I'm talking like this now using this language because I'm, as many of you know, agnostic, meaning I don't not believe in God. I don't believe that He doesn't exist, but I don't necessarily believe that He exists either. So anyway, back to Mark Sanford. Um, It's a shame that a person with his status did what he did. And it's a shame that someone who I agree with somewhat politically did what he did. It's a shame that this might mobilize some uh, liberal armies to uh, further destroy this country as arguably FDR did. But, um, yeah. Obama and his henchmen will screw us all like FDR and his henchmen did. Oh, it pins. I don't know why. It's a really good scam chair. Oh, that reminded me of that Dax Flame video when he like falls out of his chair. He's like, hey. <laughs> All right. Mark Sanford. I hope his constituency, constituency, but hope they forgive him. They represent him politically, apparently morally too, because Republicans always use that as part of their platform. Hey, I'm moral. Vote for me. <sighs> but, um, I hope they forgive him, and I hope they, uh, Say, you know what, you're like us, you made a mistake, because parts of us make mistakes too. But we still agree with what you do politically, so we're still going to allow you to represent us. Maybe that'd be cool, I don't know. Alright, that's enough.